All right. Uh, I want to get into our next story because it's an important one. And I actually fucked up because I want to pull up a article. So if you go to radindymedia.com. By the way, go to radindymedia.com. I'm going to drop that link uh, into the comments here. And that's the one. Um, apologies for a little bit of a delay here. It's a good place to get a lot of uh, lefty news. Uh, and there's very good information there. So you should you should definitely check that out. That way, you know, people don't need to go to five different sites uh or or even have their inboxes flooded because I, right now I'm, I'm subscribed to like eight or nine different you know uh, lefty news organizations so that i can um keep up with what's going on and i still you know that's still there's still a lot of information overload or anything like that but uh ba -ba -ba -ba, sharing my screen sharing my screen and there we go all right so this is uh kevin gastola the great Kevin Gastola, uh, fantastic reporter there. Uh, so let's let's read through this. So basically, the United States has decided to appeal the decision uh, to extradite Julian Assange, even though uh, the the judge said, "Hey, he might kill himself because your prisons are super fucking terrible." To which I think Joe Biden high fived himself uh, because he created that system. Um, good for him. Am I right? Okay. Uh, so let's read this, uh, and then we'll see if I have time to get into the last story that I want to get into. The High Court of Justice in the United Kingdom agreed to hear the United States government appeal in the extradition case against WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange, but on limited grounds. Great. According to Stella Morris, who is Assange's partner, the High Court rejected the efforts of the United States to second-guess the magistrate's conclusions on medical and expert evidence. Niels Melzer has come out and said that Julian Assange is being tortured. He's a victim of torture. He's also facing like massive psychological issues right now. Um, he's currently in Belmarsh prison. So basically the U S prison system is going to come help, uh, you know, get pop, pop, might possibly get him to kill himself, but the UK br prison system, eh, that's just going to severely depress him, but we won't push him to commit suicide fucking insanity right like the double standard that this judge has exhibited is is phenomenal uh so no date was immediately set for a hearing on the appeal and it was unclear whether the high court had considered the request by assange's legal team for a cross appeal uh which i absolutely think that they should and at this point really the united states doesn't have any grounds to appeal they don't have any grounds for extradition their key witness just confessed to committing perjury so like that whole testimony should be removed which should change everything this should go into a fucking mistrial he should be released from prison already i'm going to say that till he fucking is So the dissenter reviewed the appeal of submissions, which are not publicly available. On behalf of the U.S. government, the Crown Prosecution Service challenged the district court Judge Vanessa Barrister's decision to oppose extradition on account of Assange's medical condition. Again, suicidal. Uh, he is that depressed about what's going on. Um, the environment has triggered those, you know, pro those emotions for him. And, and who wouldn't? Would you not be depressed if you were kept in prison for uh, over like damn near a decade with limited contact with people that you love because you did your fucking job as a journalist? Prosecutors contended the judge uh, c contended the judge made errors, errors of the law when determining whether it would be oppressive to approve his extradition. They also insisted the judge should have notified the U.S. government of her provisional view so that they could offer her assurances to alleviate her concerns. Like what? Dismantling the entire prison industrial complex? Because that's what she said was fucking oppressive. Because it is. Furthermore, prosecutors maintain the judge should have disqualified defense psychiatrist Professor Michael Kopelman, whose assessment and testimony on Assange played a crucial 
part in her decision. Oh, should they have disqualified that defense be- because it proves that the United States is is advocating to torture a, a journalist and proving that the United States doesn't believe in the First Amendment? Attorneys for Assange countered claims that the Crown Prosecution Service put forward in the appeal maintaining Barrister did not commit an error when she concluded Assange's suicidal impulses would come from his psychiatric condition and would not be his own voluntary act. So again, if 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 you're going to say we should disregard that, is that because you're planning, if, if we extradite Assange, you're planning on dismantling the entire prison industrial complex, changing a bunch of laws so that nonviolent drug uh, offenders don't have to go into prison. And I don't know, people that collapse the economy and fuck over the American populace should. So a bunch of bankers replace nonviolent fucking drug offenders in prison. If that's what you're going to do, then maybe she can consider it. But that's not what you're going to do. And even then, I don't think a lot of people are willing to, like, give up the First Amendment. Regarding the argument that the judge was in uh, was wrong to favor Copelman's evidence, the Assange legal team asserted, this attack only fails to recognize the entitlement of the primary decision maker to reach her own decision on the weight to be attached to the expert evidence of the defense on one hand and the prosecution's e- experts on the other. Basically claiming that like whatever the whatever Assange's defense comes up with is bullshit. So they could they could essentially get like a mentalist to come in and be like, I saw deep within Assange's soul, and it was to crush the DNC by means of Russia. I saw the sickle cross the hammer. And then they would be like, ha, mentalist said it. That is a, a real mentalist that worked on the show The Mentalist as a consultant for two episodes after he was fired for making lewd comments at Jennifer Love Hewitt claiming that that's what he saw in her soul. But that's proof. <laughs> Your key witness is a child rapist that is now on the run and has confessed to committing perjury. What do, like what defense do you have other than what that well that psychologist did uh no we don't we don't like the psychologist because he says things that we think is not okay with our our thing. Uh, so here we go. The high court apparently agreed Barrister was well within her rights to consider what weight to attach to the evidence from the medical professionals. Prosecutors offered the high court assurances, quote, assurances that were never put forward during or prior to the extradition trial. They suggested the United States government would not impose special administrative measures against Assange in the in, in pretrial confinement or in prison if he was convicted, though they did not say they would not hold him in admin- administrative segregation or other forms of isolation. So basically, there's no like, yeah, you might not put him in prison, but you don't like you could just put him in isolation again, which would then contribute to his d- d- declining mental health. The prosecutors claimed Assange would not be imprisoned at uh, 80X Florence in Colorado, a supermax prison, but they they included a caveat that left open the possibility that he could be sent to the facility if he committed a, quote, future act that met the, quote, test for designation. What, what, is that, what does that mean? So if he continues being a publisher, you, you, you can claim to send him to prison for that? Oh, but he's not a publisher. He's a hacker. You don't have any evidence to prove that anymore. Because the the barely fucking coherent witness that you had turned out to be a fucking liar and a child rapist. Significantly, the prosecutors tried to salvage the extradition case by agreeing to allow Assange to apply for prisoner transfer to Australia under the Council of Europe Convention uh, Convention on the Transfer of Sentenced Persons 
the United States government would consent to the transfer. So imprison him in Australia. Anybody else find it really ironic that he's going to be moved from UK to Australia into prison? And Australia was like a British prison colony. Does anybody find this just farcical? This decision is is a fucking farce top to bottom. God damn it. Uh, Assange's legal team bristled at this offer. They had every opportunity to offer such assurance at the extradition hearing since the relevant Council of Europe treaty has been in operation for many years. But the U.S. government did not offer this assurance so it could be tested uh, so it could be tested during the extradition trial and before the judge issued her decision. Quote, such a, uh, a transfer under specific provisions of the treaty could not take place until the conclusion of the trial and all appellate processes, which are obviously likely to be very prolonged, the defense replied. In the meantime, Mr. Assange would be detained in the conditions of isolation identified by the defense expert, witnesses, and in any event, an alien and hostile environment far from his family. Transition, fucking send him home. There's no reason to keep him in this bullshit. It was not immediately clear how the high court responded to the, quote, assurances put forward by the U.S. government well after the extradition request was litigated in September 2020. Morris spoke uh, to the press outside the high court after the decision. She had visited Assange at Belmarsh High Security Prison in the morning. The U.S. government should have accepted the magistrate's court decision. Instead, it keeps this case going, Morris declared. She contended that the case is falling apart because the U.S. Department's uh, key witness, Siggy Thorderson, admits to admits he lied in exchange for immunity from U.S. prosecutors. The lawyers of, on, of Julian Assange were spied on. Their offices were broken into. Even our six-month-old baby boy was targeted while in the Ecuadorian embassy, and now the high court has limited the grounds on which they are allowed to appeal, Morris added. So at this point, really, like, who is against Julian Assange? There is no case. This is all bullshit. They're now just willingly torturing a journalist for revealing American war crimes, for revealing the crimes of the elites on a global scale. That's what WikiLeaks does. That's what Julian Assange revealed. He dared point out that Hillary Clinton and the Democratic Party are just piles of shit trying to get your votes so that they can shit all over you. Sorry for the graphic, <laughs> you know, metaphor there, but you get it. Uh, Attorney General Merrick Garland has egg on his face because of the decision to use a witness that perjured himself in order to try to imprison Julian and keep him imprisoned. Asked about Assange's condition, Morris shared that he is very unwell and described Belmarsh as a horrible place. She mentioned that another prisoner recently committed suicide. It's a daily struggle. He won his case in January. Why is he even in prison? Why is he even being prosecuted? There's no legal case against him, Morris concluded. There you have it, folks. There's no fucking legal case against him. There's no fucking legal case. None. Zero. Zilch. Zip. Why is he still in prison? Oh, is it because the United States is trying to fucking torture a journalist because that's what they do? Because the United States actually doesn't fucking believe in the First Amendment? They don't believe in freedom of the press? What they believe is in freedom of propaganda. That's why networks like CNN, MSNBC, Fox News, NPR, PBS are all fine. And they can say whatever the fuck they want. Including some McCarthyist bullshit. Including, you know, that's why TYT is doing fine. Because they, they get to go on and say, oh, well, Aaron Mate, which was going to be the next segment, but I guess I rolled that into this thing. Oh, Aaron Mate is a fucking paid by, paid by Putin. Oh, he's probably paid by a bunch of other dictators, too. Where's the proof? It doesn't matter because under uh, under America, there is no freedom of press. There's freedom of propaganda. So you just get to levy fucking unwarranted attacks at people claiming that they're Russian, claiming that they're they're spies, claiming that they work for, uh, you know, the enemies of America, that they're treasonous. And it's fine. And it's totally fucking fine. 
That's what fucking America believes in. That's the freedom of press that exists. It's not freedom of press. It's the freedom of fucking propaganda. That's what it is. There is no case against Assange. There is no anything legitimate you can say to me uh, uh, that that is going to is, you know to change my mind about Assange because there's nothing you can say. It's all falling apart. Let's all take a breath. <laughs> uh, let's look at your comments. Gene says the U.S. government sucks. Yes. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Uh, Holly uh, says Julian should be free, 100%. Absolutely. Cynical girl agrees. Um this the spanish company's employee yeah uh david morales david morales was talking about how um you know he's working with the americans now and the americans with the cia so the intelligence community basically spied on him uh holly says barrister is a piece of work she's doing the u.s and uk's bidding only in that she's keeping him in prison um the 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 judgment was to not extradite him because he'd kill himself. Sarah, Sarah Wagner, welcome to the stream. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, this is so embarrassing and at, at every point should have been thrown out. Yeah. Yeah. 100%. There's no reason for this fucking thing to, to exist. Climate Rebel says they're they know they're gonna lose, they're just being dicks. Yeah, I think that's I mean, that is the case. And I think this is gonna be a huge blemish on um the the past three administrations. Uh we're talking Biden, Trump, and Obama, who all fucking did this. Now Biden has uh every ounce of power to cancel this appeal, drop the charges, and let him out of prison. But he won't. But he won't because he was part of the Obama administration and the Obama administration hated the whistleblowers. The worst part is Julian rots and waits. Uh, un unfortunately, that is. That is, the, that is the unfortunate truth of this situation. Um, I'm hoping that, you know, more people join the, uh, the, the free Assange movement uh, you know, and uh, more people get educated about what's going on. There's tons of videos on my channel. There is uh, tons of videos from the Action for Assange folks. Uh, Richard Medhurst, Kevin Gastola does great work. Lee Camp has done great work. Jimmy Dore has done great work. Ron Cone, Graham Elwood, Kim Iverson. These, these Nico House, uh, the Convo Couch. I mean, the list goes on and on. If you want, if you want accurate information of, uh, about Assange, don't go to CNN. Don't go to any of the propaganda networks. Go to real fucking journalists. Like the Convo Couch, like Kevin Gastola, like Richard Medhurst. Fuck, go to comedians like me, Ron Placone, Lee Camp, Graham Elwood, Jimmy Dore, Steph Zamorado, Katie Halper. That's where the real information is. All of the rest of it is fucking propaganda because that's what exists in America. We have the freedom of propaganda, not a free press. All right. <laughs> MSM is scared they could be next. Uh no, I don't think they are scared, Holly. I think I I think that they are uh they're fine with this because they stay within the boundaries of what the United States propaganda wants them to say. Uh they're the mount pieces of the American war economy. So I don't think they're nervous. They're they're ignoring Assange because every time they cover Assange, um you know, more people side with him. And the only person within MSM that is that has given this any level of uh, coverage is Tucker Carlson on Fox News. <laughs> like that's embarrassing. The liberal media outlets, the Democratic control, that the Democratic Party controlled media outlets, are are too worried pushing McCarthyism. For them to say, yeah, hey, 
we 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 should not be keeping good fucking journalists in prison. But they're not journalists. They are propaganda mouthpieces to the American war economy. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit the like button and please make sure you share this content out. Sharing is very important. Sharing is how independent media gets the word out there about topics that corporate media doesn't even want to mention on their networks. So it's really up to you guys. Corporate media very much depends on the people. We are people powered media. That's what we really are. Uh, another great way to help if you're on stable financial ground is to uh, make a financial contribution to this channel. And you can do so over at krishmohanhaha.com slash donate. You can become a sustaining member, which gets you free tickets, early access to videos, bonus stand-up comedy and storytelling content, uh, a way for you to communicate directly with me, ask me questions, and other uh, premium content that uh, will be released on a monthly basis. Um, or you can make a one-time donation as well on that same website. Um, I also have uh, various stand-up comedy albums. I have about six comedy albums out right now uh, that are available on my website at krishmohanhaha.com. And most of them, if you get them off of Bandcamp, are available for a dollar or a, a pay-what-you-want pricing. And I also want to mention that I do have an online merch store. Uh, you can go to my website, krishmohanhaha.com, click on the merch tab, and check out all of the designs that I've made myself. And the Julian Assange shirt, there is a Julian Assange shirt that's on the website. All the profit from the Julian Assange designs will be going to uh, pro-Assange activists, such as Action for Assange, uh, Kevin Gastola, Richard Methurst, folks uh, 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 that, that are covering and talking about Assange. So I'm going to be making donations to them um, uh, it'll be 100% of the profits I make off of that shirt. Uh, thank you again for tuning in. Thank you again to all the people that have made contributions to the show, that regularly check out my content, that have subscribed to my channels. I, I very, very much appreciate it. And, uh, and you guys help keep this, uh, keep, keep this, this train a moving. So I, I very much appreciate that. Until the next video, we'll see you on the road. See you guys.